grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Satan has this trick, or maybe it's your human nature, or it could be the world that's doing it. It doesn't matter, they all are together in on it. The devil wants you to think the situation that you find yourself in, in the, the suffering and the emptiness and the, the sorrow and the worry, that is all your end, your foundation, your place. Now just stay there. And the loneliness, the lie that comes to you is that you do this all alone, and that you are the only one that feels the pain of your sin, the pain of the sin of the whole world. And we believe the lies. We know that sin breaks things. Remember that from yesterday. Our hearts and our minds, they concentrate on the sin that we have in our lives to the point that we forget that there is a Savior that has won over all of sin. And he comes here, why? But to set you free. So Adam's sin it plummeted not only you and me into the corruption, but the whole creation. Because sin ruins things. It pushes back all of us to the void and the empty. Sin causes pain, makes the whole creation moan for its release. And the whole creation has been subjected to this present suffering. You and me, the whole world, the creation, all of it. But the whole creation is waiting for the revelation of the sons of God it's waiting for the resurrection of all flesh. It's waiting for the Son, that Son, to come and to show everyone everything that this Son, this Jesus, has made you free. And if the Son sets you free, then you are free. And then the world is free. And the angels are free. And the stars and the moon and the sun, all of the whole creation, free. Free indeed. So the Holy Spirit will not let his work be undone. He will not allow us to be separated from the good things of God. He has hovered over the water, and he has marked you as sons and daughters of God. He's connected you to the death of Jesus on the cross and the resurrection of that Jesus he brings to you for your life eternal. And now, that God knows your heart. And the Holy Spirit, he intercedes for you, bringing prayers before the Father in heaven for you and for me. Perfect petitions that reflect your life and your situation your needs, and your sorrow. You have not been left alone. 
Your sorrow and your groaning has been heard by the Father in heaven. And he is taking you from the void and the empty of sin and corruption. And he is conforming you into the image of his Son. He's making you cross-shaped, giving you a cross-life, and pointing you to the one who conquered sin on the cross. So, cross-shaped people, you are justified, you are glorified, and you share in the heavenly glories here and now and today. And nothing can be against us. All of your enemies have been defeated. Your life is now for the good and the Son, that Son, Jesus, the Christ, has made you free. Your adoption is sure, and you are forgiven, made whole again, children of the living God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.